Three teens all charged with felony attempted armed robbery in an incident in South Austin that we first told you about on Monday. Well, now in a story you'll see only on two, we are learning from police sources those teens could be involved in more crimes. CBS 2 Suzanne Lemigno joins us now from Area 4 Police Headquarters. Suzanne, what are detectives looking into when it comes to this group? Marie, a possible carjacking crew. Now, police sources are telling us that detectives have been showing photos of these suspects to witnesses in at least 20 different carjackings to see if the teens are connected to those crimes. This is 18 year old Jeremiah Brown. Police say Brown was with three other teens on Monday morning here on the 4700 block of West Arlington. Police sources say this Kia they were in was stolen. Detectives are looking into whether all are part of a carjacking crew linked to at least 20 carjackings across the city. We deal with these type of young men on a day to day basis. Derek Brown is the founder of Boxing Out Negativity. The West Side organization is dedicated to giving teens a positive outlet through athletics instead of living a life of crime. Many in Brown's program recognized Jeremiah Brown from the neighborhood. They're just probably, I'm just looking at it at my point of view when I was that age, just doing it just to have something to do. In the incident in South Austin early Monday morning, one of the teens got out of the Kia and pointed a silver handgun with an extended magazine on it at a 56-year-old man. The man was sitting in his work truck smoking a cigarette with the windows open. The teen demanded the man hand over his belongings. The man grabbed the extended magazine of the gun and there was a struggle. Then the man saw two other teens coming to his truck. That's when the concealed carry license holder pulled out his gun and fired several shots. A teen behind the wheel of the Kia tried to drive away but crashed the car. The 16-year-old driver was shot in the head. An 18-year-old was shot in the shoulder. A 15-year-old was shot in an arm. And a 16-year-old now has a broken leg from the crash. Resources as far as communities has failed these young men. Schools, faith-based. You know, this is this is not just their loss. This is our loss as a community. Now, while three teens have been charged with attempted armed robbery, a fourth teen still remains in the hospital and hasn't been charged. At Area 4 Police Headquarters, Suzanne LeMignot, CBS 2 News. Suzanne, thank you.